Style, versatility and advanced features. It's little wonder the Kia Sportage is drawing a crowd. The Sportage delivers a well-rounded package and glowing performance that really stands out. This is the Kia Sportage. It's the GT Line S and it's the fifth generation of Kia Sportage that they have created. There's so many nice features about this car and not only is it nice to drive, it's also really nice just to stand and look at what Kia have produced. It's very difficult to go past these lights. There's so much detail in the lights. It's almost like an arrow. It's almost edgy. It's like a shark pushing forward. It blends into the front of the car really nice. Chrome indents inside that grille just works. The blue, on the black, everything that Kia have produced in front of this is nice. You've got a chrome strip along the bottom of the splitter as well, which ties in really nicely with the black mirrors and the black roof. Everything about the Sportage in this guise is good for me. It's even got side steps along the side of the car, which make it that little bit classier than your average SUV. The side of the Kia Sportage has been very cleverly broken up with little bits of black that Kia have put in. You've got black around the wheel arches, we've got black along the door, the door mirrors are black as well, and also the roof and the roof bar. So rather than having the car one whole colour of blue, that may be too much, they've put these black areas in and it just seems to work. Now, depending on what model you go for, will be with the size of the wheel you get. We've got 19 inch Charlie wheels in our one here. You come with 18 or 19. I like the side step, I mentioned that earlier on. Just makes it look a little bit more classier. Good for washing the roof if you still wash your car these days. And also that makes me kind of think of the Kia EV9. It's like a baby brother to that. If you haven't seen the Kia EV9 review that we've done, hit the top right of the screen and you can watch that review at your leisure. But it is a cool car. It looks nice. I suppose the big talking point is this chrome strip and wonder why it doesn't actually match up there. Probably too much when you think about it. We've got a nice black surround around the windows. Why would you want to have just a little bit of chrome put in there? As we finally make our way to the back of the Kia, it is a nice place to look at as well. They're, they're teasing Duncan with a almost a light bar. It's not quite a light bar, but it does look like one, so I'm into that. But one thing that put me off straight away, I thought there's no back wiper on there. Well, there actually is. It's tucked away up there. It's so neatly hidden away. Very clever from Kia. It's not in the road. Doesn't take a penny for your vision when you're looking at the back as well. So really good job with that. They have got a high brake bar light, as you can see up there, which keeps you safe on the motorway. And it's just quite a cool back end, the chrome styling down the bottom, chrome around the fog lights, and again, more of the black in that area as well. The boot, 562 litres of boot space inside here. Also got the reversing cam on that, and you can see just how much stuff we carry about with us when we're going on a shoot. If you put the seats flat, which is easy to do with these little handles here, you get 1,751 litres of boot space, and there's also a nice pullback parcel shelf cover here. Flat load lip, which is always good, and inside there you have your tyre repair kit, which is housed underneath. There's also a 12 volt supply right in that corner. Inside the Kia Sportage, it's comfortable. The seats are quite nice. There's almost a mixture between the, the kind of leather and the suede effect on the seat, which does feel comfortable to sit on. And also, it kind of grabs your body a little bit so you don't slide about the seat too much. Footrest, which is always on Duncan's love list. He likes that. And I like the size of the steering wheel. It's got a flat bottom to it. And it also has quite a nice wheel to hold. My hands do kind of touch the buttons a little bit there when I'm, uh, when I'm driving. That's my own fault. I do apologize for that. But it's nice, it's quite cool to be inside. It's got a decent panel on it as well. The digital driving display is easy to use. And we've also got a lovely 12.3 inch screen across here. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are accepted, but you've got to plug a lead into the car for that. But it's nice and quick to use as well. There's very, very little lag when it actually comes to using that. For storage, well, there's a lovely bit of storage here. And there's a 12 volt power supply with a USB and a USB-C and a phone charging mat down there. Beside the actual driving controls, you've got your heated seat options and you've also got vented seat options beside a couple of drinks holders and some comfy armrests either side. Plenty of storage in here, plenty of room as well. And another thing I do like is got a sunroof in it as well. The sunroof is tilt and slide 
and also one that's good for the kids. Harman Kardon speakers in here and you can actually zone control those areas so you can have all the sound in the back or all the sound in the front. Perfect for those rocking tunes if you're away on a family holiday. In the back, just as comfortable as you would expect in the front, the same seats effectively. Plenty of room in here as well. I've seen a lot of reviews that have said it's quite cramped, not great for grown-ups, but lots of headroom, lots of legroom, lots of width as well, I like it. USB chargers in the seat. You've got iPad or iPhone holders at the top there. You've got air vents as well, and you've also got heated seats in the back. We've got an armrest with drinks holders that you can pull out there and you can enjoy a nice comfortable beverage on your journey. And for mums and dads, yes, isofixes come as standard as just about every car does. It's nice in the back here, it really is. There's also the third seat belt which comes down from the roof and across and it's properly housed away at the top there as well. So there's no need for you to worry about that. And again, the panoramic sunroof, you can drive along, you can look at the world going past in comfort in the back here. Now Arnold Clark have over 20,000 new and used vehicles across the UK. So there's something for absolutely everybody. Head to arnoldclark.com and have a little bit of a look. If the Kia is for you, why not head to arnoldclark.com and find your local Kia dealer and get yourself booked in for a test drive. Remember, it comes with a seven year warranty and that's the highest of any other manufacturer around. It's parked over there. I'm gonna go and take it for a spin. Let's go. Visibility is fabulous. You've got a big windscreen. You've got nice big door mirrors. They're chunky-ish A-pillars, but they're actually narrow chunky A-pillars, so they don't take up too much of your field of vision. Good, that. And also, like, you get blind spot detection in the furthest away part of the mirror. Just a couple of little tugs in the steering wheel for me there as well, just because it's more kind of monitoring that I'm going out towards the white line, but I didn't think it was. You get up my game as a driver. Now, just for anybody else who might not know this, if you enter into a tunnel in your Kia Sportage, yes, one of those tunnel things that goes underground, it automatically switches off the outside air. Well done, Kia. We're always going about heated seats and heated steering wheels and heated this and heated that. But right now I've got a cool fan blowing nice cold air into my back. It's lovely. Something a little bit different. I've never actually experienced that before. Cooled seats or chilled seats for a chilled driver. It's got a 1600cc petrol engine under the bonnet and we've got a very mild hybrid system in this car as well. Gives us 146 brake horsepower in this one. There are other variants of hybrid you can have this car in uh, and they'll boost you north of 250 brake horsepower, making it quite a potent weapon actually. I like the interior of it. It's nice, I've said that in the, in the little review that we did, but what, what I do like is they've given you a touchscreen panel for your, your heater control so it's not hidden away inside the actual infotainment system. You don't have to scroll and do anything. Just a little touchscreen panel down here which looks really cool and it illuminates up when the car's switched off, it disappears. Pretty swanky. Swanky a word I can get away with. Remember I said about it blocks off the outside air in a tunnel and we didn't know why? Well clearly it's quite fusty because we've just come into the world famous clay tunnel. Can you still see me? Hello, can you see me in there? We're in the world famous Clyde Tunnel and it came up on the dashboard blocking out outside air. For the goodness of Duncan's health. Didn't actually say that. Cruise control on the motorway. We've done the B roads, we're now in Duncan's happy place. Feet off the pedals, driving along. Doesn't really get any better than that, does it? We've still got 352 miles of range left in this as well. It munches up the miles, but it doesn't munch up the petrol, that's for sure. So who is the Sportage for? Well, it could be for anybody, actually. When you look at it from the outside, you think, wow, really super sporty, cool, edgy. So it could be for the young family, but it could also be for the retired couple later in life, wanting to do a little bit of cruising about in a nice 4x4, because that's what it actually is. It's a nice cruising vehicle. It works everywhere, it ticks all the boxes. For the young family, when your circumstances change and along come the kids, ISO fix in the back, perfect big boot, buggy friendly, got everything you need. It does definitely tick all the boxes. It's an all-rounder, that's what the Sportage is. Darn good all-rounder. I like the Sportage. The key is a lovely car. It's a driver's car, actually. It loves a twisty B road. It also likes a motorway. It can comfortably cruise along at speed. It's a really nice SUV to drive. Now, I've been lucky with Arnold Clark. They've taken me a lot of places and they've always put me up in a lovely, lovely hotel. However, tonight, it's a little bit different. This is my digs for tonight. The boys, well, they've loved the Sportage so much, they're taking it for the weekend. So, 
They've left me here to fend for myself. Thanks, guys. I oh, know. I think I think they've got my rucksack in there. Wait. <laughs>